I'm Freecarta 3 d and today, I'm upgrading my Creality K1 with one of the lightest, most precise extruders you can get, the Fatus DXC by Devil Design. In this video, I'll show you exactly how to install it, step by step. Let's go! The DXC is just 41.5mm wide, 56.7mm tall, and 20.7mm thick, compact enough for high-speed printing. On it weights exactly the same as the stock Creality extruder. 61 grams. And here's the best part. It's plug and play for the Creality K1, K1C, and K1 Max. No firmware routing, no drama. Before start, let's check the extruder specifications. It uses a helical gear with a U-shaped wheel, so filament feeds smoothly without deep bite marks. The dual drive structure means more consistent grip to create finer layer textures. The adaptive pressure rocking arm handles everything from PLA and PETG to TPU, nylon, and carbon fiber blends. The open architecture improves airflow, reduces heat creep, and keeps you from getting those frustrating high temp clogs on your K1. And it have the built-in filament break detection that sits right next to the extruder and allows you to remove the one on the back without any firmware change. All right, time to get hands-on. First, remove the PTFE tube. Now comes the fun part. Remove the two screws of the Houghton housing and unplug the fan connector. Then remove the stock extruder. Three screws, one connector, and it's out. Remember, unplug the motor before separating the two parts. Trust me, you will avoid losing any parts or screws during the process. Here's where it gets satisfying, mounting the DXC extruder. Just line it up with the motor, screw it down, and double check your cable orientation. My model comes without an extender, and that makes impossible to connect in any other orientation. Install the extruder in its place. Then secure it with the three screws you removed earlier. Then connect the motor cable, as you can see, without the extender, it's a bit tricky. After that, connect the filament sensor cable next to it. Now you can disconnect the filament sensor on the back of the printer. Reconnect the fan and reinstall the housing. That's it. Upgrade complete. Reinstall the PTFE tube again. I think that with the extruder installed, my K1 printer looks more professional. Let's check if the look meets the performance. I will start testing using stock settings, and we will see. So, was the DXC worth the swap? Absolutely. But here's my question. Should I test this with extreme filaments next, or push for max speed prints? Let me know in the comments. And as always, Happy printing! If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and drop a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Until next time, happy printing!